Hi guys, today we're going to be looking at the newly released from MAC Cosmetics and MAC worked in collaboration with Richard Quinn for this collection. When I saw it pop up on Selfridges, I just thought it looked really beautiful. There are quite a few items in this collection. I didn't pick up everything, but I did pick up a few. I picked up the eyeshadow palette. I also picked up the blush and the highlighter and also a lipstick but there are other items available there are eyeliners there's also in this special limited edition packaging the fix spray there's also quite a few different lipsticks as well i just picked up one lipstick and it's in the matte formula so at this stage this collection has been released in the uk as I was saying, I picked mine up from Selfridges. It's also for sale at MAC Cosmetics in the UK as well. Now, I had a look on Instagram, and from what I can see, this is going to be also released in Australia, which means it'll probably be released in New Zealand. And when I looked at, on Instagram, the MAC Cosmetics in the USA, that Instagram page, it also had promo photos for this as well. Now, in Australia, New Zealand, and by the looks of it in the United States as well, this is going to be released on the 2nd of March. So to be honest, I didn't know who Richard Quinn was, so I looked him up. He is about 30 years old, and he was born in London. He's also based there as well, and he hit the scene in fashion designing around about when he was 17, 18 years old, and he's also been awarded the H&M Design Award, by the late Queen Elizabeth II. So he's definitely made an impact. And the packaging that he chose for this MAC collection represents what he often uses in his fashion as well. And that is florals and polka dots. And he also likes to clash colors as well. So I also found an article in our magazine online that talks about this collection with Richard Quinn and Mac. So I'll talk a little bit about that. And while I'm doing that, I'll put up some pictures of his latest spring 2023 collection. So the headline that Al have got says, designer Richard Quinn is delivering frosty pastels to your makeup bag. And then it says in the tagline, granny blue never looked so cool. It says shimmery baby blue eyeshadow is back. And that it's worth noting that British designer and print extraordinaire Richard Quinn is the mastermind behind the said eyeshadow as part of his new collaboration with MAC Cosmetics. And he said the obvious choice for us was to go really bold, but we wanted to do it in a softer, more beautiful way. He says we tried to show in the new collection that you can do a statement eye, but it has that frosted look in a modern way. He said it's tailored to each person's skin tone and has that porcelain texture. With that eye, it gives a doll-like kind of beauty, which we liked. Bold, pastel, and unexpected is how Quinn describes his first collection for the Fashion Week favorite makeup brand. Here you'll find sorbet shades of mint, buttercream, lavender, and granny blue in pigmented formulas with a delicate shimmery finish, a modern frost that promises to light up every skin tone. There are also four pastel eyeliners and four lipsticks in brand new MAC and Richard Quinn colours, including playful tones of bubblegum, salmon, fuchsia and magenta, which is perfect for springtime. And also included in this collection as well is the MAC Stack Mascara in this limited edition packaging. I have tried that mascara and I think it is really really lovely. So I've already got all my base makeup on including powder. I've also got eyeshadow primer on as well and lightly powdered over the top. I haven't put any bronzer on yet and the reason for that is I have tried out this collection apart from the lipstick and the deeper color in that duo blush I have been using as a bronzer and I think it looks really lovely. So that's what I'm going to do today. So we're going to start off by looking at the blush and the blush is called Sunset Boulevard, and this is made in the USA. The packaging on these are just beautiful. And it feels like, I don't think it would be, but it does feel like a satin. And then it has the silver writing on the front, MAC by Richard Quinn. So I'll just hold this up a little bit closer so you can take a look. It is 
really really pretty I think this is beautiful beautiful packaging and we'll just take a look inside so you can see what the blush looks like there is a mirror inside and as I was talking about before so the outside has the florals and the inside has the really beautiful polka dot and I've just turned down the mirror a little bit in front of me so you can take a good look at this so I'm just going to swatch this on the back of my hand. What I'll do is I'll swatch each of the two shades and then I'll mix them together and do a swatch with them mixed together as well. So here is the top shade and the blush. This is the brown and this is the bottom shade which is the pink and these are the two mixed together. So like I was saying before, I have been using this as a bronzer. I think it looks really lovely. So that's what I'm going to do today. So I'm gonna take the Sonia G, this is the Jumbo Bronzer, and I'm just gonna use this top shade. And when I used it yesterday, I thought it looked really, really lovely as a bronzer. I think it gives a really beautiful sun-kissed look and I'm just tapping quite lightly in the pan this is fairly pigmented I can always build it up if I want to and I didn't show you the outside packaging of the products but it is just like the product itself and it has the floral design there isn't any polka dot on here it's just the florals but the outside packaging is really beautiful as well. And this is the packaging for the lipstick. It's in the pastel blues and the deep blue for this lipstick. Really, really pretty. So I think that this as a bronzer looks really beautiful. And it also blends out really beautifully as well. So now let's take a look at the eyeshadow palette. The eyeshadow palette is made in the USA here is the outside packaging the outside is just like the blush or the bronzer part that I use so I'll just hold this up for you to take a look as well and inside the eyeshadow palette there is a cover in there that gives the name of the shades I've just removed that so again you've got a really good size mirror and then the polka dot inside as well and the color story is really beautiful. Now I've also tried this as well. I haven't tried the yellow, the green, or the blue, but the lavenders and that beautiful, it's almost like a silver taupe, and that black, I've tried all of those and they are just gorgeous. So I'm going to swatch these. These are from left to right and top to bottom. This one is Lemon Fizz. Next we have Mint Cloud. The next one is called Monodramatic. And then finally we have Gleam Queen. And then on the bottom row we have Blush Goddess. Then we have Sultry Sunset. Then we've got Fairy Fiasco. And then finally we've got Dusk Diva. And I'll just go over Dusk Diva again. This has sparkle in it, and the sparkle matches these two shades here. These are really beautiful, cool lavender, and it has, the sparkle in it is a lavender as well. It is really, really beautiful. So with this eyeshadow palette, I really picked this up for these shades through here. Not really... <laughs> for the yellow, the green, and the baby blue. So I've only tried these shades so far. So what I'm gonna do for today's video, I'll do a different look on each eye to begin with, and I will use, will try and use these three shades. And then for the final eye look, I'm going to use these ones here. When I used these, I used it yesterday and the day before, I just thought it looked really really beautiful but I will start off with these and probably add either the shade here or this one as well so I'm going to take the Sonia G this is the classic crease and I'm going to go into this really it is a beautiful blue it's just not really a color that I would wear a lot although I did buy an eyeshadow from their Christmas collection last year it was the bubbles and 
bow collection and I did a look with it was a very similar blue and I actually thought it looked really really beautiful so I'm just going to swap to the Rafa 14 I'm just staying with the blue shade I'm just going to put more of this on definitely a pastel and it definitely has that 60s type of look to it and then staying with that shade I'm going to take this on in G this is the pencil one and I'm going to run some of this under my lower lash line and then I'm going to take the raffer number 12 and I'm going to go into the shade here this one is called sultry sunset and I'm going to put some of this in the outer corner and I'm going to stamp just a little bit through here as well. And then I've just gone back to the reference number 14. And I'm just going to blend that out a little bit. And I'm going to use the same shade, go back to the pencil one. I've just wiped this down. And I'm going to put some of this under the lower lash line as well. Just grab a little bit more. I'm going to take my Chukahoto brush and I'm going to go into the shade here. Now this does have that sparkle, a little bit of glitter. I did use this, you say, to define my upper lash line and I didn't find that it irritated my eyes at all. So I'm just going to do that again today. Then I'm just going to take a Chanel eyeliner. This is number 944 and I'm just going to put a little bit just a little bit on my lower lash line as well. Then I've just wiped down the Sony G Pencil 1. I want to go back into the baby blue shade. And that one is called Monodramatic. The one that I first used. And I'm going to put some of this in, in a corner. And just through here as well. And then I'll put on some mascara once I've finished the other eye look. So for the next eye look, I'm going to start off with the green. These aren't really looks that I would do for my everyday makeup. I do think that they blend really beautifully. And I do love the icy blue. And when I wore the blue eyeshadow last year, the one that I was talking about, that Matt put out with one of the eyeshadows from the Christmas collection, when I used that blue and did my final look with it and my husband saw it, he thought it looked really, really lovely. So he would probably like this as well. Now, the next two colours I'll use are this mint green and I'll probably try and use a little bit of the yellow as well. So again, I'm going to take the Sonia G, the classic crease, and going to start off with the green. And I'm going to take that all over the lid, just like I did on the other eye with the blue. And I'm going to put it through the crease and just sweep it up as well. Then we'll take the pencil one, stay with the green shade, and I'm going to put that on my lower lash line. Then I'm going to use a bit of the yellow shade. This is the Sonia G, this is the crease one. And I haven't used this yet, so I'm not quite sure how pigmented it is. But I'm just going to take it up through here. And I'm just going to just put a little bit through here as well. And then just staying with that yellow shade, I'm also just going to put a little bit on my lower lash line, just in here and and then a corner as well and I'm going to use one of the shadows to give some definition to my upper lash line as well so I've just wiped down this brush and I'm going to try this shade here and see if I can get some definition using this eyeshadow so here is eye look number one and here is eye look number two now are these shades that I would wear for my everyday makeup no it's not but I do kind of like them 
and if I was able to do especially with that blue just with the blue all over and if I was able to do a winged eyeliner look which I think it would suit that real 60s look I can't do them and I've tried before and I'm hopeless at trying to do winged eyeliner but I think it would look gorgeous so you go quite heavy with a black eyeliner and wing it out with all of that blue over and then just very minimal go quite heavy with the mascara and perhaps even some false eyelashes very minimal with the blush and lipstick and I think that would look really, really beautiful. I think the green and the yellow is nice too, but they're really just not shades for me. I wouldn't wear them as part of my everyday makeup. I do like it on though. I think it looks really nice. It's something if I was playing around with my makeup that I'd wear around the house if I was staying around the house for the day. But for me, I wouldn't wear that green or the yellow if I was going out but that's just a personal preference of mine just like other MAC products I've tried these blend out really beautifully they're not too bold they're not that scary to put on I thought even before I purchased these products I thought these are going to be really bold I have to go in very very carefully but that's not really the case at all they are pigmented but you can put quite a bit on your brush and you're not going to get too much. So they aren't scary in that way. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to wash this off and then I will do the third and final look. So for the third and final look, I won't talk while I'm doing it. And when I'm editing this video, I'll just put some music to it. The river flows one direction fishes they follow the flow but what if one tried to mention that there was much more to explore here i am i have a plan i'm living free don't know where i land Dragonfly heard the message Darkness was home for the star It spread its wings to the surface the Bright colors set them apart Here is the finished eye look and as I was saying I wore this yesterday and the day before as well and I love it. I think it is really really beautiful and unlike the other first two eye looks that I did this I would wear going out. I think this is really beautiful everyday makeup. I just think the lavenders and also that darkest colour that has that glitter in it with that tiny bit of that lavender shade in it too is just beautiful. And I really love how these blended out as well. I just think it's really, really pretty. As I was saying at the beginning of the video, these are the shades. The reason that I bought this eyeshadow palette as well as the beautiful packaging and they didn't disappoint. I think that these shades are just gorgeous. So now let's get back to this blush. I used that one for the bronzer. So now we'll go into this bottom shade. I'm just going to take my Chukahodo brush. This is the F03. And first I'm just going to just dust along the bottom here. This applies really beautifully. 
and I think this is a really, really gorgeous colour. Now this blush is quite pigmented. It's not over the top though. It's not scary and it's definitely buildable. So you can put it on quite sheer like this and then go back in and build it up. And the other thing that I did with this yesterday, I used the top shade as the bronzer like I did today and then went over with the shade here. And then what I did is just lightly mix between the two, like when I swatched, and just go over both, both sides again. And I think it gives a really beautiful look. It is a really beautiful blush, I'm not surprised. The other MAC products, the couple of ones that I picked up last year, they performed really beautifully as well. So I think it looks really, really gorgeous. So now let's get on to the next product, and this is the Extra Dimension Skin Finish. This is in Day Glow. Now this is made in Italy. It has the same packaging as the blush and the eyeshadow with the polka dot inside. And the embossing on this highlighter is just absolutely beautiful. So I'll hold that up so you can take a look. And now I'm just going to swatch this on the back of my hand. Now when I used this, I was quite surprised. I wasn't too sure whether to get this highlight. I thought with MAC it would have that very wet look and I'm not really into that for highlighters, but actually it's more subtle than I thought it would be. If I put it on with my finger, it definitely gives more payoff, but if you put it on with a brush, it's just very soft, and it's soft enough really, you can dust it over your cheek. So I'll show you both of those ways when I apply it. So here is the swatch of Day Glow. So I'm going to use the Chukahoto, this is the KZ03, this is the highlight brush, so I'll show you what this is like first. So some highlighters you can go in, in with the softest brush like this one and you put it on and you can really really see it, it's almost too much, but with this one I think it's, I think it's really really lovely, it also buffs out beautifully as well. So I think that is, it's a really lovely highlight. The embossing in this is just absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. So on the other side, I'm going to show you what it's like putting it on with my finger. So you definitely get a lot of payoff when you put it on with your finger. So for me, I think putting it on with the brush is definitely enough. This is too much for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab another uh, Sonia G brush and I'm going to grab the Smooth Buffer and just buff this highlight out a little bit. And then I'll also buff it out a little bit on the other side as well just so that they match up. It is a really, really lovely highlight though, and it goes on really beautifully. Now if you use a really soft brush and didn't swirl as much as I did to begin with, just quite lightly, I think it would go beautifully all over the blush as well, or even underneath the blush. I think it would look really, really pretty. So now let's take a look at the lipstick. This is in the matte formula. And I'm not too sure whether I've purchased a matte formula lipstick from MAC before, but I picked up the one called Rose Daydream. It is a really beautiful packaging. And this lipstick is made in Canada. So you've got a couple of things made in the USA, something made in Italy, and the lipstick is made in Canada. The packaging, not just on the box, is really pretty, but the packaging itself on the lipstick is really, really gorgeous. And it feels quite robust as well. It's really, really pretty. So that is the outside packaging. And on the inside, you have those really cute polka dots, and this is the shade. 
and this lipstick just has it's a click on lid so now I'm going to swatch this on the back of my hand so you can take a look so here is the shade Rose Daydream it's quite muted and I'm quite pleased that it is I was worried that it could end up being a little bit bright but I think this is a really pretty shade So here is the finished look and I think altogether it is really, really beautiful. I am in love with the shades of these eyeshadows, the last look that I did. The first two, not so much as I wouldn't wear them for my everyday makeup, but the other ones that I used, just absolutely gorgeous. But if you love those mint greens and the baby blues and the yellow, you will love this eyeshadow quad. They blended really beautifully. It's just not a look for me for my everyday looks. But these ones are just gorgeous. The shade of this lipstick is really, really lovely. And the formula, it hasn't dried down since I first put it on. I have tried a couple of matte lipsticks before and they're brands now that I've thrown out. And one was actually a very Valentino one and that dried down immediately and it just makes my lips look quite aged and shows all the lines but this doesn't seem to be doing that at the moment but also that it's matte this should be fairly long wearing as well i think that that blush is beautiful and i love it that i can use it as a bronzer and also as a blush the two different shades on their own are really gorgeous and they're beautiful mixed together as well the highlight is gorgeous if you want that really wet look you can get it with that highlight but if you go easy with a soft brush you can get just a really beautiful glow as well and as i was saying before if you use a really soft brush you can even put it underneath the blush and just get that very soft lit from within glow and i think that would look really gorgeous as well the formula of everything is really lovely now i don't buy a lot of mac products i used to years ago and absolutely loved it I think I picked up a couple of different, just some things from a couple of collections last year and I wasn't disappointed with any of the products. I think MAC is a great brand. I think they put out really good quality products and they haven't disappointed me yet. So I'm really thrilled that I picked up this collection. I think the packaging is absolutely beautiful and I think this is a really gorgeous collaboration between MAC and Richard Quinn really really lovely so that's it for today's video i'd love it if you gave it a like and subscribed and i will see you next time bye <laughs>